Welcome to Riga. It's the host team, Latvia. Well, I mean, there's all kinds of challenges, primarily around uh, COVID. And getting over there, not having any exhibition, uh, I think maybe one practice, uh, testing, just getting a team together. And then, you know, actually even just being grateful that you had a group of people, coaches, staff, and players that were even willing to go into those conditions. I think just the uh, restrictions we had in the hotel, you know, we were, COVID was a brand new thing and uh, we were trying to navigate all the protocols and I think just figuring out that way, you know, we had a tough start. Germany beats Canada 3-1. to one. Germany is 3-0, and oh, Canada 0-3 oh at the 2021 World Championship. Uh, panic. <laughs> I mean, thinking you're... You could be the worst Canadian team ever, uh, the first team to not make it to a, a quarterfinal. And to start a 1-3 and digging yourself a hole like that, it was certainly an uphill battle. The mood was definitely down, but, you know, well, we we figured, you know, we flew all the way out here, um, we might as well go down fighting and, and then and ended up uh, turn, turning around for us. I was obviously arriving late. Uh, I had to finish off some regular season games in Vancouver and I uh, was just so eager just to get there and kind of, um, you know, have some fun with the guys. Andrew Mangiapane draws into the Canadian lineup. And Madge arrived, for the people who know Madge, with that confidence, that smile, that energy and come on, it was kind of a, hey, let's do this boys and he had a, a, a confident approach and he changed our mindset and put smile in the face of our player and he was competing so hard and he was confident. On the ice, he was he was unreal for us. Um, so I think he just kind of kind of added a ton to to the on ice and I think off the ice too. He's he's such a fun guy to be around and such a good guy that um, it kind of brought everyone together and um, brought the team closer. We're gonna chance to see if Canada can keep the streak alive. It has never failed to finish in the top eight. The way that things fell into place, and, and even us playing our last game and needing to get the three points and, and losing that game, it seemed like the final nail in the coffin. And then, you know, getting all kinds of help. Um, the last thing I think we needed was a, a German win over Latvia in regulation. And the Latvians going on the power play with about two minutes left, and the Germans just laying it out, blocking shots. And then, uh, you know, they, they ended up winning, and, and that put us into the quarterfinal. Heartbreak for Latvia on home ice, Germany and Canada advance to the quarterfinals. When we found a way to, to sneak in, now it was the Russians were coming with all their players. They were there, the, the Bobrovsky and the Orlov and the Tarasenko and everything. We were kind of, oh boy, we're in one and we played a hell of a game. Camp was unbelievable. And Canada and Russia will go to overtime with a spot in the semi-finals at stake. Uh, I think it was mostly all Stetch, uh, from what I remember. Uh, he had that uh, nice toe drag, and uh, I was just looking to get open. He was able to find me, and I was I put it in, and, uh, and I remember just jumping on him. And just so excited. I mean, you don't see defensemen do that very often. He kind of pulled it out in, in overtime in a, in a do-or-die do situation um, and, and made an unreal play. And once again, finds a way. The feeling then was that, you know, I don't know if we can lose now. We had to beat a, a real good U.S. team and get into the finals against the Finns. Yeah, we were basically kind of house money. We if we weren't even close to be there. So uh, we kind of had that mentality that, you know, what anything could happen. Here we go, the gold medal game of the 2021 World Championship. Yeah, almost hard to believe, you know, like from where we were a week before that to where we ended up. Just really disbelief. And the gold medal game will go to overtime between Canada and... No, that was crazy, you know, getting out there. And kind of saw the two-on-one, like intercepted it off the draw. And give the puck to Brown and good things happen. You know, he can make things uh, work. And then he slid it right over and there's an empty net. And I just had to make sure not to miss it. Uh, and then just turning around and looking and seeing the bench kind of go. And Canada has won the gold medal at the World Hockey Championship. When that goal kind of crossed the line, I, I just I looked around and everybody was jumping up and down, jumping over the bench. Guys were falling, just throwing equipment everywhere. Right? It was just honestly one of the best moments that I've probably had uh, playing hockey. To win the gold medal is always special in the sense you always need a little, what I call a little miracle. There's always a, a moment where nobody was expecting that key play. 
I think the whole group was like, wow, like somehow we found a way to win. But to me, that's like there's all different ways to win, and, and that was really special because it was so, you know, it was so far from where we were thinking. Canada has authored the most unlikely story 